All right, I've made it down here to the St. Lawrence Market, bright and early on Saturday morning. It's just about eight o'clock at this point. Beautiful place. So I got here a little bit later than I expected. It opened at seven. bustling on this Saturday morning. Probably as busy as I had anticipated it would be given uh, just the nice weather outside and the stuff on offer here is pretty incredible. They have a lot of these pea meal bacon sandwiches here in the market. So different companies offering their take on it, I suppose. $7.95. Very chaotic place. Uh, that line moves quickly and they don't spare any time. This place is extremely popular. People are ordering three at a time of these sandwiches. And they're not cheap. They are $8 for a very modest sized sandwich. So. Not cheap, but I guess they're really good. So I'm gonna go try this out. And here it is. This is the famous pea meal bacon sandwich. I ordered the breakfast sandwich for $7 plus tax. It came to about $8 right on the dot. And um, yeah, you can see inside, it's got some eggs, it's got some mustard, and it's got that slice of pea meal bacon. That's pretty much exactly what I expected. It's pretty good. All right, I just picked up one of these cheddar and olive bread sticks that I'm gonna try. It was two bucks, pretty cheap. All right, so this is the St. Lawrence Farmer's Market, which is right uh, directly south of the main market hall. This is a more of a temporary market. Got lots of uh, fresh produce here. All right, heading on my first and only subway ride here in Toronto. So it's three dollars and twenty-five cents to ride the subway in Toronto. One way, so if you're not going far, it's actually pretty expensive. I am now at Queen's Park and the Ontario Provincial Legislature. So it's hiding through the trees right now. And it looks like there is some sort of a event going on right now, some sort of procession. So I'm not sure if it's blocked off, but in any case, I'm gonna go get some photos of Ontario's seat of government. And here it is. This is the seat of Ontario's government. You can see a beautiful brick castle-like structure. Pretty impressive facade with a lot of detail. And this is the home of Doug Ford, or at least his office. Doug Ford is the Premier of Ontario, or Governor if you're an American. So it is a pretty stately building. It's not the same style as many of the other provincial legislatures or capital buildings across Canada. It does not have a dome. A little bit different in terms of shape and architecture but pretty impressive nonetheless. And on the other side of the legislature, you can see expansive Queens Park right here. Beautiful lush green gardens. This is at the north end of the downtown core. This building is about 150 years old almost. It was built in 1879, so incredibly historic. So the current government in power right now is a conservative government. So it's a right wing party led by Doug Ford.
right, after a very short ride on the Toronto streetcar, I am here at the distillery district. So I was told by a couple that I met on the tour in Cuba to not miss out on the distillery district. That's what brought me down here. I've actually never heard of it before. So really cool collection of old brick buildings here. So I'm going to cross the street and check it out. And that's a bizarre, massive spider. Cool urban art though. You can see all these old brick buildings, factory here, and this majorly old signage here, Gooderham and Warts, established 1832. There's a distinct aroma in the air too. It's very, um, I'm not sure if it's oak, but uh, really amazing smell. The facades have been very well preserved over the years and definitely atmospheric with this beautiful old chimney and a lot of cafes and other kind of yuppie shops around here, but uh, it's a good vibe. And they've definitely tried to keep history alive here as well. They have these old photographs of different buildings and what they looked like back in the day. So this is from 1918. You can see the facade. And 2022, same building. Pretty neat idea. You can see this beautiful clock here adorned with flowers all over it. I think they're the colors of Ukraine. Anyway. That's a beautiful part of Toronto. But this reminds me a ton of Yale Town in Vancouver. Yeah, beautiful. They got these little lights above. It's a nice space. It's like a wedding is happening here too, right? As we speak, wedding photos. It's a pretty cool place for sure. So you can see this place has changed a lot since the 90s. There's basically no development here in the 90s and they've really transformed it. Some historic photos here from the early 1900s as well. Lots of old paintings, images of what life would have been like back in the day here in the distillery district. It's definitely cool to see a city like Toronto uh, putting to good use these old historic buildings they were falling by the wayside, transferring them into something much more sustainable and uh, enjoyable over the long term, I suppose. Better than them sitting there unused and empty and forlorn. Beautiful day. It's about 17 degrees, so it's not too warm, but uh, it's not too cold either. All right, I'm here at the Mill Street Brew Pub. Very famous brewery here in Ontario, and they have a beautiful outdoor patio. I'm gonna go head in and get myself a beer. an excellent beer. I'm going to be heading down to the Rooster Coffee Shop, which was recommended to me by travel vlogger Alina McLeod. It's about a 20, 10 to 20 minute walk, so it should be there yeah, before dark at least. Heading towards downtown Toronto, there's the big TD Tower, and there's some pretty good views here of the CN Tower from Mill Street. Thank you. All right, I'm at Rooster Coffee trying their flat white. Oh, that's good. I approve. I'm here at the Cathedral Church of St. James, which is an Anglican church. And this is one outstanding building, especially at night. It's just beautiful. It's about 10 stories tall, it seems. Really huge steeple on this. I am walking down King Street, almost back in the center of downtown Toronto. Ah! Ah! 
I'm gonna be heading back to the airport now to figure out my next steps, whether I'm gonna be flying somewhere from here or maybe taking a bus somewhere, I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine about what the next step is.